Hi, it's a beautiful day in Cota de Casa. I'm on the 18th fairway of our North Golf Course. And today we're going to talk about this beautiful plant. This is an Arroyo Willow. It goes by the Latin name Salix Lazio Lepis. This is a textbook native California plant. It grows from Baja California up to Washington, east to Texas, and down to the northern Mexico border. Now there's two varieties of this plant. Ours is called the Bigelovii. So the proper name of this plant is Arroyo Willow variation Bigelow. So this plant is easily recognized by its shrub-like structure and its glossy green silvery leaves that wave in the wind. It's a riparian boundary grower so it grows along stream sides and creeks and the word arroyo is a made-up word. It was made up or established in 1845 by the Mexican Californians to describe our dried up creek beds that run all throughout Southern California. Now the most famous of these is Arroyo Seco which is the Los Angeles River and more locally we have Arroyo Tribuco which is our Tribuco Creek. Now we have our own creek down here. This is the Gobernadora Creek and it runs seven miles throughout our canyon and all throughout our canyon you'll find this wonderful plant, the Arroyo Willow. Now the leaves, they alternate their way up the stem. Here's one here, here's one here, 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 here. So they alternate up the stem. The tops of the leaves are a very glossy, waxy green. And the bottom of the leaf is this silvery green that we call Glaucos. And the color is formed by little hairs on the bottom of the leaf. Now each leaf on the stem, you have this thing called a stipule. Right here, that little green nobular thing is called a stipule at the base of each leaf. And I'm not sure what a stipule does, but I think it has something to do with protecting the leaf. Now on our Arroyo Willow, we have both male and female plants. And male and female flowers are found on the different plants. They bloom around February to May. They're arranged in yellow clusters called catkins. Now the male flowers are yellow to greenish and the yellow is mostly caused by the pollen. And the female flowers are smaller and mostly green in color. Now they will seed in puffy, you know, seed clusters that will blow away in the wind to regenerate somewhere downstream. Now the Native Americans, they used this plant for a variety of purposes. Now, first of all, whenever they saw this willow, they always knew that a fresh source of water was nearby. So that's quite helpful. The inner bark this is a smaller tree, but the inner bark, you can shave off segments or sheaths and you can weave them together to make rope. Now the shoots were also used in basketry weaving. Now you see how, um, let's see here. You see how these are real flexible and they're very pliable. It's very easy to weave these together and you could weave uh, baskets. You could also weave a structure or perhaps a rooftop. Now the Native Americans, they use the bark and the leaves for medicinal purposes. So this uh, plant, it contains salicin. And salicin is the active ingredient of aspirin, or what we know as salicylic acid. So they brewed the leaves and the bark and the tea to help reduce pain and fever. Well, that's the story of our Arroyo Willow. And I hope you can appreciate the beautiful green colors as they wave to you. There we go. Up and down California and throughout our magnificent golf courses. All right, so hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.